Hey. Hold on, I need to send her my. Hold on, I gotta send her myself really quick because I'm definitely not in the center whatsoever. Me with myself and center. I hope you know. I hope you know. You forgot the best part. She'd be like, gravity. <laughs> Surreal me. Yeah. Yes. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the group chat. It's your girl. I was gonna say it's your girl. <laughs> it's your girl. That was a damn. <laughs> Alyssa did you. I'm just kidding. Anyways. <laughs> <Not for reasons. laughs> Y'all, that shit was that shit was reach your ratchet territory. It was really like '90s. Uh, TR, like TLC, uh, like TRL. TRL. I'm about to say TLC, yeah. or TCR. Y'all, we all put them. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another group chat. Yes. We are back today discussing another show. We've noticed that y'all enjoy when we talk about these series and get into the real tea. So yeah. we are back and we are talking about Pit Babe today. Yeah, y'all. Period. We, uh, we had a nice long com not a long conversation. Okay. No. Was, if y'all don't It know, was quite quick. It was quite quick. <laughs> because like if y'all don't know, me and Alyssa always be on the same mindset, but we don't be wanting yeah. to say that we on the same mindset because no. we like we be feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> because we were like we're like we need to stay a little bit like more in our niche. Because yeah. our separate stuff is like BLK pop. And it's like, we try yeah. to like branch out, obviously, but yeah. there is strength. There's strength in your niches, y'all. Niche. That's why when you find something you good at, just stay there. <laughs> just, <laughs> just do it. Just. So, you know, yeah. So we're back. <laughs> Talking about shows. We're back talking about shows. So shows when but you're anyways, if um, you're ready for it, go ahead and join the group chat. <laughs> but and that's how the intro comes but, in. Uh, intro. <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't noticed, the quality yes. is a lot better because we also decided to go back to just filming on our cameras because there's yeah. this is something different about the quality and you know went back to the root of two that we tried to take the easy way out. <laughs> we did. That we show, thought it'd be easier. That just goes to show how transparent we are with mm -hmm. y'all and our process mm -hmm. of making this podcast the best podcast that it could be. Because yeah. what was it before? Before it was like, y'all, we're gonna give y'all subs. And we gave y'all subs. And then, and then we were like, let's go and make it easier so we get more consistent mm -hmm. content by going to StreamYard and filming it there. Yeah. But then yeah. the quality was just like trash trash cans and we are qualitarial human beings so qualitarial so. You know, so why would we not give y'all the quality mm -hmm. okay but anyways that's that but yeah pit babe we're um, back we're talking about pit babe how are we feeling about the show so far overall me personally i feel like it's top tier mm -hmm. and that's like from the storyline, from the balance between the action, romance, mm -hmm. from the characters, the chemistry, like I really feel like they did their big one. Yeah. With Pit Babe. They're doing really well at balancing. <laughs> yeah. Um mm -hmm. it was it was not gonna lie, it was a little rocky in the beginning. Only <laughs> only because of the Omega Verse thing, because again, as somebody who mm -hmm. is very much invested in all yaoi, manga, manhwa, whichever is your lane. And the yeah. megaverse, I was like, are we gonna like do it or are we gonna like salt bay it? Like just sprinkle a little yeah. bit on top, you know? But well, then so then we can go ahead and get into the first topic yeah. Omega verse and all. Or not. Um, <laughs> Omega verse and all. So my, my opinion has changed since mm -hmm. the beginning of this show. And it's funny because I made a whole video about how I felt about how them <laughs> implementing the Omegaverse for my YouTube channel. <laughs> but I took too long to edit it. And I'm kind of glad yeah. that I did because now I have a totally different opinion on it. Um, and I think they're doing they're doing a good job at, you know, incorporating the Omegaverse. 
I will say they do have kind of a different spin on the powers because it's like with the Omegaverse is very like obviously, you know, animal based. And I think some of the powers that they have in there are derived from like roles in yeah. um in like a pack. So except for and maybe this is just a subgenre of the Omegaverse that I don't know about because in the Omegaverse thing that I've read, they don't particularly have like superpowers. Yeah, not not usually. They yeah. don't have superpowers. If somebody knows more about that, like because there are a lot of sub genres to the Omegaverse. Yeah. If somebody knows about that, like let us know in the comments. Like let us know, because the only ones I've ever read was <laughs> yeah. it was just Alpha, Omega, and like it was like that, like yeah. or not um, not Omega, it was uh beta. Yeah, there's not a Enigma lot, beta. There's a there's like Alpha, Omega, Beta, like Gamma. There's like a lot of different things. Like, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I was just saying the ones yeah. that I've ever read, mm-hmm. it was always like like Enigma and this I was like Enigma. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but um yeah like they, I th- because ways ways power made a sense to me because i know what an enigma is and i know how it incorporates into that like mm-hmm. universe but the only people that i kind of was like what is this was jeff and charlie because i was like jeff tells the future so i was like okay Mm -hmm. (laughs) charlie like saps the power from other alphas and i was like okay yeah (laughs) but like babe i understood because like i hyper senses duh Mm -hmm. and then way i understood because like an enigma in the omega verse it's like just considered somebody who's like more aggressive more they they're it's like they're the alpha of alphas. They don't necessarily, they're not necessarily an alpha. They just mirror their, like an alpha's behaviors perfectly. And really? Yeah, they just, and they imitate it, but they are mm. like, they are like the, what is it? The apex predator. Like they are. <laughs> That's not so funny, the like, apex predator. <laughs> the apex predator. Like they are the people that literally are over everybody like because they like and they're considered rare and they were considered a myth because like they don't it's like where do you come from like how do yeah. you exist like that type of thing so yeah. I, I understood that but um yeah i was just kind of confused i'm still confused about them but they're they're doing a little thing with the, with the i don't i still don't really Consi- I mean, like, yeah, they give it to us, like, here and there, mm-hmm. but, but obviously because, like, they all have, like, Alpha, Enigma, like, you, the, blah, 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 whatever, but I still don't fully consider it an Omegaverse yeah. because there's still, like, certain aspects that are missing from it, mm-hmm. or maybe it's because they don't really show it, or, like, they, they say it, it, they mention it, but because mm-hmm. they don't show it, I'm like... I'm like okay. Yeah, I think it's because <laughs> they don't they don't really go into a lot of the um como se dice they don't really go into the gist of it. Like the what is it? Like the sexualized part of it. Or like they don't go into that a lot. I mean they touch on the baby thing, but um they don't really go into that part and I just really feel like you don't know what makes an alpha an alpha what makes this one this yeah, one it's kind of or whatever with them because yeah they, they make or it's like an alpha. they pretty much make yeah. everybody an alpha and then which I, I mean I've seen that in Omega yeah. verses where like alphas are married to alphas yeah, whatever yeah. Yeah. yeah but and it's like they didn't because they didn't make other um parts of the universe known like betas like obviously mm. betas are like the regular humans so obviously that would yeah. be i'm assuming that would be like sonic that would be like north that'd be like dean the people yeah. that don't really they're, they're it was just there. regular 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 regular, regular. 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 But, <laughs> in my research and i guess we well we don't really have to go on the topic of like what is an enigma because we're talking about it so we can see that topic but i think um what i did find out when i was like just touching up on my research is that if a Mm. alpha um gets impregnated by an enigma or like 
is like you know has sexual relations with Enigma, they turn into an Omega. Yeah. They turn into an Omega. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, mm. that's crazy. <laughs> that's, 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 that's crazy. That's, that's why Wade was like, you. No. Ew. He says, stop, cease, stop it, stop it, baby. What are you like? Cease fire. <laughs> He'd be like, no, it's just like, he'd be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but you know what? That's so funny. That's how a dog be doing. A dog will literally do that. Like, obviously not comparing weight to a dog. Like, don't get it twisted. But like, because it's like, <laughs> it's like alphas and that's like more of like a wolf thing. Yeah. Dogs dead ass be doing that. Dogs will be like, if you're doing something, they'll be like, Paul, think. <laughs> Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah. but, like, from the beginning to now, personally, I think they're doing a better job. And I'm glad yeah. that it's more in the forefront. They could have did better, obviously. So, like, yeah, because the is... first episode we knew, and then, like, we went, like, what, six episodes? <laughs> it was, like, nothing. Yeah, like, um, by the wayside. But. <laughs> But hopefully, if there is a season two, because there's a lot of talks about it, then I wouldn't I mind. I wouldn't mind. Mm-mm. I wouldn't mind the season two, to be quite honest. I feel like they're doing really good. Mm-hmm. Pavel's doing, like, everybody's doing really good. Like, acting yeah. all across is just bomb. So, I would really love a season two. But, but yeah. anyways, switch gears, get off the Megaverse. I know how much we love talking about it. But, anyways, we're going to talk about our favorite villain outside of Way. Tony. <laughs> Mr. Tony. That freak a leak. So that freak a leak. Okay. So Ciao. I know I know we're we're moving on from the Omega Verse thing. But yeah. there is something about Tony, and I asked myself this in the last episode. I was like, why does Tony have so <laughs> much power and he has to be an enigma he has to be what if what if what if this man ain't got no power whatsoever he's nothing like literally nothing but because he raised them from kids and he has so much money it's like he just has that mind control that mental control over them i feel like that would be so fucking funny it would be hilarious but if they do do that it is such a cop-out i'm like okay yeah like if y'all are gonna make this universe this universe then like why y'all are basically saying like because he would be a beta imagine being an alpha (laughs) or an omega and you get ran over by the regulars did you hear me and you you What did you say? I said, um, <laughs> I said, imagine being an alpha or an omega. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Earlier, when I tried to say enigma, I thought it sounded like I said that. No, <laughs> I caught that because I heard it and I was about to be like, a what? But then I kept myself. I kept to myself. So I was like, anyways, um, imagine being an alpha or an yeah. enigma and then finding yeah. out your ass was basically groomed and done up by a beta. By a regular. By a regular. <laughs> regular. I'm just saying I wouldn't put it past it being like that because he looked like the type that like he wanted to be an alpha or he wanted to be an enigma as a kid and he was never one so, so he, he power. Just, yeah so he mm. used power he used power to get them all together now he's like hi y'all do what i want oh you still icky but he's like <laughs> no y'all the way i get the biggest ache every time they show him with these kids and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. Anyways, no, no. Um, I do have a question, Tony, and this is in <laughs> dead ass all seriousness. Why the fuck what are is your all question? your drinks thick as hell, and why are they in wine glasses? 
He's a fancy bitch. But why Drinking is that his V8. Drink? <laughs> that shit V8. <laughs> I'm like, why is all of his drinks so thick? Because when he threw that green drink on Kenta, I was like, I know I would have gagged. I was no, like, that's that that's that naked smoothies. That's what it is. Oh, you remember naked? It is. That's what he drinking green drinks. He drinking green smoothies. <laughs> 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 But he is also, drinking I'd be smoothie. thinking like maybe he has mm. like those pheromones or whatever, and he drinks like Ugh. drinks it so that no he can... the pheromones are in the drink. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, hmm. Are you splashing pheromones all over Kenta? You just because it's, it's so <laughs> it's so weird to me because I'm like I'm like it does not make sense that in every single mm. episode. It's like it's focused on that thick ass motherfucking drink. And I'm like, why do I keep seeing this drink? That's where his power is. That man ain't got no power. He drinks it every day like a multivitamin. <laughs> <laughs> I have no power. <laughs> oh, why do I keep seeing it? It was that orange last no episode, power. though. Ugh. Which is why it pisses me off, kids. That I know he brought you in, but that man really called you a dog. Last episode, and you took it. If that ain't tell you all you need is to know, Kenta, and that you need to just drop that chicken dinner Kenta. and get with a winner, then I don't want to. Kenta, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. How that song go? Stand up. Take my people with me. Together we Like. <laughs> Taking my people with me, what? I literally cried when Alan came to rescue Jeff, and Jeff was like, or Alan was like, "Fuck them kids!" No, y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all. Alan said, "I came." Though Alan reminded us several times who he here for. He said, "Jeff, I came to get Jeff." <laughs> no, y'all, <laughs> y'all. Am I the only person? Am I the only person who, when he ran up the steps, when they went to the final mission and Pete delegated tasks, and here come, J- here come Alan and get Jeff. <laughs> Jeff over here like, Jeff over here like, y'all, you see these two kids that we can literally save? And, Je- and Alan was like, Alan nah. said, fuck them kids. He said, nah. He said, their fake. It's not ours. Your faith is mine. <laughs> I gotta go. And that's on period. <laughs> no, that shit was so bad. It says J and A. Not A. He and said, B. he said, I got no heart bracelets for them that connect. It's just us. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> like, like, damn. <laughs> like this. He said, J and A, not D and C. Goodbye. No, Alice said this all time. He was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad for your kids because they was like, <laughs> no, I said I was like, Alan, you really look the kids in the eyes. The kids saw you seeing them see you. He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, this is my man. <laughs> and he said, we ain't playing for kids yet, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, the adoption Alan agency is said, closed. I would say, you better go ahead and get that on the steps. <laughs> he said, he said, here's your pen, sign on the dotted line. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Alan. <laughs> Them kids sitting there like. <laughs> he was like, but, but. Anyways. But, 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 Anyways. Y'all don't get us. We just kidding. Anyways, right. um, do you want to talk? Do you want to take a break before we get into the next topic? Because that might be a long one. Yeah. So. Well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like it's gonna take more than eight minutes. So we'll see y'all in we'll like be right a few minutes, a few seconds. <laughs> seconds. We're back. So, 
guess what? Who are right. we talking about now? Hey, we're getting into, we're talking about Wade today, y'all. I know some of y'all love to hate him. Some of y'all just hate him. <laughs> But yeah, we're we're gonna sorry. talk. We're gonna talk about him. At first, I was like, at first, I was like, okay, maybe people aren't aren't gonna like our opinions. But you know, I feel like and maybe I'm, there is gonna be some people that relate yeah. to how looking at this thing. And mm-hmm. also, I just want to preface with this: um, you Bible, not Bible. <laughs> Bible. <laughs> y'all treat the book like a Bible. Anyways, you book yeah. readers love yeah. y'all two pieces. But we're not talking but, to y'all. We're talking to the people no. that didn't read the book and watching the show from beginning yeah. to end without knowledge yeah. of the book. Because, like, to yeah. be honest, some of y'all, some of y'all book readers think that y'all are high and mighty just because y'all <laughs> read the book. But, in honestly, it just shows that you don't know how to look at something as a separate entity of away from the other yeah. publications of that entity. And yeah. I need y'all to... Get some emotional intelligence. And then don't come in here and spoil the end just to prove a point either about way if we say something that you read in the book that was different. Right. Don't come in here and be like, no, cause in the book that it, no, no, I don't care, care. what it says in the book. The show. I really watch, don't care. <laughs> we're watching the adaptation and therefore we're looking at it from specifically a point of just Hello. watching the show. We don't care about and the book right now. stop spoiling the show too. Stop spoiling the book. <laughs> For the show as well. We Stop don't it. care about <laughs> the book. Don't we don't care. care about the book right now. Don't care. If we were reading the book, we would make another episode about the book. I but would we're tell not. you that I read the book. I don't care. We don't care about the book. So before you comment, don't. <laughs> anyways, now that that's settled, <laughs> way. <laughs> so for me, when mm. this whole thing started, I just really did not yeah. like how people were just going in and on way scratch yeah. that i didn't mind people being weary of way because of how he was treating babe charlie. and charlie oh but yeah what i didn't like was how y'all were just negating everything and the how suspicious and shady charlie was to go in on way i was like so yeah him being a jealous friend even if he, like yeah. even though he was jealous of charlie mm-hmm. and stuff so the jealous, he still had proven points <laughs> i was like without knowing and that's how i know it was probably just the book readers who was looking at that honestly yeah. maybe not just the book readers because like some of y'all didn't anyways <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to hear right there. i was like, I was like <laughs> it's just crazy to me how like y'all think this shady person that y'all don't know nothing about is more important than this friend over here that's trying to tell you that this shitty person is like, you know, anyways. Yeah. Um, prioritization. Some of us have it. Some of us don't. Anyways. Um, but (laughs) I was like, I was just upset at how people were treating way and Mm -hmm. weren't giving that same energy to the random person that just shows up, happened to be babes fan. Like y'all, it was so random how he came up. It was like, I'm a fan. Let me into your entire life. Let me have your car. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? And, babe, you little stank gonna let him fuck you in the locker room. And you don't even... I was like, ooh, huh? Per. <laughs> <laughs> you little stank. Anyways. But, um... Yeah, I was like, okay. As time went by, I was like, all right, way. Okay, wait, chill out, chill out. And but now I'm like, I mean, obviously, babe is like, you know, making up with way slowly but surely. But yeah, it got to a point where I was like, way, whoa, (laughs) you're doing a lot. But at the same time, I understood why he was doing what he was doing. Yeah, not not understood as in I would have done it. Yeah, like, it's not right. It wasn't okay. It's it's definitely not right. But understood as he was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Because, obviously, like, not everybody 
we like to talk like we're these righteous, strong, like strong-minded people. Like, but nobody me. knows what they would do if yeah. they were in that situation. Because y'all, let's be real. Tony literally said he gives him all his money. Mm -hmm. He gave him all his cars. Mm -hmm. He gave him his house. He gave him his clothes. Like this boy would literally have nothing. And I know everybody would be like. Well, he could just be with Alan and be with Babe and blah, blah, blah. Y'all, if y'all were in that situation, somebody literally was like, I'm taking your whole entire everything and that's it. What would you do? <laughs> and people like to talk like, if it were me, I would be left to live on the streets. And I'm like, like okay, no, go live on the streets if then. We, go be in like that Tyra situation, Banks. hello. <laughs> go be like Tyra Banks and live on the street for a day and see if you survive. She wasn't even there for a whole day. Right, I had a cameraman. <laughs> Hello. Like, if that was, if that, it's easy to be like, that would never be me because it most likely would never be you. Like, you would never be in that situation to begin with. Right. So, it's easy to watch and be like, and I think that's what it is. A lot of people don't watch these shows as a viewer. Mm -hmm. Like, how you're supposed to watch shows. Like, y'all, we know it's a show. So, like, right. you're supposed to, like, but people take it and, like, make it personal. Yeah. It, like, it's as like, if we're watching a reality TV show or like a documentary. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, y'all know damn well if y'all was presented with the type of money that they were presented. Because, like, I. Some of y'all would I sell y'all soul. I can't say whether or not I would or would not be like, ooh, babe, I'm sorry, but. Uh, <laughs> we got to get him out of here. <laughs> Take him back to Tony. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> like, I can't say that I wouldn't do that, but I also Hello. can't say that I would because Hello. who knows in that situation, in a situation of stress and just like unbelievable adversity, like what yeah. would you actually do? So I think there Dude. also needs to be a, a little bit of understanding because even with Vegas, even with Vegas, as much as I did not like that can't man. Can't stand him can't to stand the him. bone. Can't stand him. I still understand. Understand his situation. That <laughs> he is a product of his environment. Yeah. Do I condone what he's, but did I condone what he was doing to no. Pete and everybody else because he's a product of his environment? No, now, and he can still choke for it too. He can still choke. <laughs> Just like Wade can choke for what he did. But oh yeah, like, we can choke. <laughs> Wade should be in jail with people. But I just think but, people need to stop like looking at these <clears throat> things on just a singular level. Yeah. Because emotions are not straight to the Hello. point. And emotions the and actions like, are not. No. And then it was like when people were like, see, I told y'all, I told him you didn't tell me nothing. You didn't because tell me nothing. <laughs> You didn't tell me nothing because I had my. The book my, told you, so like. The book told you everything. <laughs> I was forming my own opinion. Based on I had an opinion had. Right. that was being presented to me. In the beginning, I felt like people were going a little too hard on the way. I did. I still feel like people were going a little too hard considering what was going on because mm -hmm. Charlie was being the one that was suspicious. Yeah. Not way. Obviously, when things started changing, my opinion is going to change. But y'all ain't tell a girl nothing. Nada. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I for child, I for my own opinion. opinion. Because like and like you said, I still I understand his situation mm -hmm. that he was put in. It wasn't like greedy ass Dean over here. <laughs> cracking people upside the head with hammers because he wants to race a race car. <laughs> <laughs> He said, like, and even even with Dean, even with Dean, I can look at this situation and take out what he did and look at it like, yeah. wow, it must really suck. Suck. Like, <laughs> believing in yourself, but then nobody else really sees your nobody potential. Nobody else believes in you. But yeah. at the same time, you may not even have that potential. I think a, a self-awareness is a thing. And yeah. you may not have been, you may not, Gracie, you, you may have just been self-centered, kind of like winner, right. and thought your shit ain't fine. Let it think. Let it think. Everybody <laughs> smelt it. Everybody <laughs> smelt it. But and you, because you have a Febreze king. No. And you were. <laughs> so it was covering up the you was, you was You was masking your own funk. <laughs> yeah. But I do also think that the, like, X Racers did heavily rely on Babe so much that yeah. they did kind of overlook people. 
And I feel like the only reason Charlie got into the, the position he because got of into, Babe, because Babe was sprung, because the dick was good. I, y'all, I said that in my reaction. I was like, why well, I feel like Babe helping Charlie? I was like, I was like, how Charlie getting ahead so quickly? Yeah. And I was like, that don't make no sense. How Babe? How Charlie come in second? And he ain't never raced a car before. Like, come on. I was now. like, okay. I but said Babe is sense. helping him. <laughs> Which is another reason why I was like, I mean, way if you feel it away, I kind of see it because babe do be giving Charlie special privileges. Hey, like, how you gonna come he do. Here? This man who was never raced in his life, I was like, it would have made more sense for you to take Dean under your wing and teach him. Yeah, but he said Charlie's gonna race for me. He I'm said like, Charlie. Charlie don't even drive a car. No, he, <laughs> said, he said. He said, but he drives me. I mean, he do. <laughs> well, stick shift and all. No, I'm just kidding. Charlie didn't drive the Audi. But he ain't never drove a car. He wasn't trained. Dean was actually trained. <laughs> that was the only thing I didn't agree with. I was like, babe. Yeah. I was like, what? Because I thought Dean was going to be able to race. And that, in my head, I was like, see, that's why if Dean messed with that car, that's why he fucked with that car. Because <laughs> this bullshit y'all just pulled. Because this bullshit. But yeah. But. But yeah, I but think, way as a he's whole, around, though. yeah, I think he needs to let go of the whole like we finna be best buddies, like important person for a little bit because poopy. No, yeah. it's no. like it's, <laughs> he kind of parallels Chin and Kiseki like a little bit. Yeah, like Chin liked the boss just because like of admiration and stuff like that, and he let everything yeah. else cloud because of that admiration. Way. Yeah. Like likes Babe and was willing to. It was kind of like ruin his for, friendship. Yeah, for the for this man, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, but at the same time, it was low key. Like, even though I understand, like, if I was in his position, who knows what the fuck. But it does give like low key selfish reasons because you did it just because you didn't want Tony to ruin your life right but you 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 ruined your friendship and traumatized the fuck out of your best friends yeah so it's like i understand you but jail jail throw the key you and dean bunkmates (laughs) jail we're gonna watch this together but it feels like but we said all that to say like to show how our opinions changed Mm. From Way and how like y'all ain't tell us nothing about Way, so let that go. <laughs> don't don't come up in here trying to tell me nothing else about him. Cause we where we are now, we've reached this point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah. But I do I did like I was like, oh when like he got to be on the team again, I was like, oh look at you. Like, Back oh. on the team. Back on the team. But anyway. <laughs> Enough about him. <laughs> We're gonna talk about his favorite arch enemy, <laughs> Charlie. Uh, Charlie is Wayne's favorite subject. <laughs> I, I, I kind Do of y'all like, think Babe will be mad at Charlie? For me personally, if it was me, I would be a little like, what the fuck? Like, mm-hmm. Because imagine being in love with somebody, they die unexpectedly. Like, this shit was unexpected. Right. How traumatizing that can be. Like, he literally saw it in front of his face. Yeah. And then all of it buried you, too. Like, did a whole funeral. And then you pop up out of nowhere like a ghost. I'm like... And then you go tell me later that it was a part of a plan. <laughs> Only because I feel like I honestly and truly feel like there could have been another way mm-hmm. outside of this if they really thought about it, put their brain power together. I really feel like there could have been a different way, but I personally don't think Babe's gonna be mad at Charlie. I really feel like he's gonna coast right over that. I feel like he <laughs> might be upset. Like, no, uh, just looking at Babe's personality, I feel like he might be extremely upset with him, and but still kind of accept him in it's kind of like what he did when he found out that um he was one of uh tony's boys he was like upset but, but he, still but that's to say like, he got over it he literally got over it and like okay maybe said, it was I a day. i think i think maybe it was like overnight 
But here goes Charlie. Mama, you can't be mad at Papa. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> okay, this is not even like just the mama papa things. I think that like pet names are so it's so cringy. cringy. It's like, so cringy. Like, outside of like the typical, outside of like a typical like babe or baby yeah. or whatever, when people are like, oh, nugget or like mm, snuggle, like, uh, like shut the like, fuck up. Because, because I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking in my head, like if they have children and then y'all still like call each other mama and papa like in a sexual Your way. Your kid's gonna call you mama. <laughs> because if if someone called me like mama or papa and we had kids and then I'll like and they called me mama or papa like whenever they wanted something or like a yeah. sexual way and then I hear yeah. my kids call me mama or papa I'm like it's because there's a lot there's a lot not trying to correct nobody but there's a <laughs> lot of couples that i've seen like in vlogs or whatever like they have mm. kids and they'll be like oh daddy and i'm like <laughs> i'm not I'm not in front of the kids <laughs> also just stop stop like don't call it don't, don't I, it's, it's probably just me it's definitely probably a me thing because there's probably a lot of y'all that don't even care and it's nothing, <laughs> but it cringes. I, that was always my fear because kids soak things up like a sponge. They do. I was like, Just what if you slip up kid. and say something and your kid comes right out of the court? Hey, Ooh. daddy. <laughs> oh, no. Move on. Anyways, Charlie but coming anyways. back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie coming back from the dead. I think Babe yeah. might be upset, but he's just gonna be like, you know, but stay here. But I'm mad. But at stay you. by my side. Yeah. Oh, but he's like, when I tell you, Charlie's about to have a low jack on him. He's gonna put a tracking device on Charlie. <laughs> babe, I really feel like after this, Babe ain't playing when it comes to Charlie. He is not playing with you. And I don't blame him for not playing with you. <laughs> no. I kind of feel bad for Babe, though, because you know what's yeah. really going to explode his entire mind is but, finding out that you. Yo. <laughs> yo, daddy was in on it. You've been with my dad this whole fucking time. Because my thing is, does Babe think that his dad passed away or does he think that he just like. I don't know. Let's see in the comments. Like, yeah, because I can't. I can't remember what they said about that. So I think like they were like he just left. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if they thinks that he died. No way. I think he did because when he went to his old his dad's old house or whatever mm -hmm. that he grew up in, he was like, didn't he say something about like this was my dad's house before he got sick? Or something like that. Like he assumed that his it, it was given that he assumed his dad passed away, uh, and uh, but I don't know. Y'all tell way, me. We know Babe does not really have a relationship with his dad as much. No, now. not and at so all. So it's just like, the thought of your boyfriend, who was supposed to be dead, um, was taken care of by your dad. Dad, who either was supposed to be dead or you supposed to not even know where he is and he's supposed to not and know he's where been he keeping is. tabs on you and tabs. you have no idea Ta speaking of i did think it was like real weird that his dad had that picture of him like with yeah. his shirt off and stuff i was like no yeah. no in my reaction before i before they revealed that he was his daddy uh, i was like this i'm old, hot i was like this old man got all these pictures of you <laughs> And then he was oh, like, okay. I'm Babe's dad. I was like, oh. Still where you got uh, that half-naked picture of him. But, yeah. Um, I'm still convinced I was spoiled on that part. I'm still convinced. No, Y'all can't, co can't convince me that there were hints that that man was... I, I Like I said to Jordy by herself, I was like, I feel like there may have been like people questioning. Mm -hmm. But I even wasn't thinking that he was his dad. I, I think I said it at the end because of the previews i was like wait but there was no hint that man was his dad i'm no. still i'm not convinced i'm not convinced uh, but that's neither here nor there about that man being his daddy i was like okay but, but yeah so we 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 both agreed that like he may be a little upset but charlie gonna mama pop for him kiss on that neck and he'll be over it <laughs> he'll be over it he said okay okay all right but, all right so last topic but, Who's our favorite? Who's shit? your favorite couples? Yeah, um, I don't. 
Me, it's it's so every time I think about it, mine's like, so random. It's I think I know who it is too. I look, like, I'm a guess. guess it's North and Sonic, ain't it? <laughs> it's North and Sonic, ain't it? I knew it. I was like, I was like, <laughs> and they're not even a shit for real. They ain't even shit for real, but they they give, they give. They Maybe give. y'all, they're so I love. I feel like y'all can tell that I would have loved them based off the people that I'm biased. I love goofy ass people mm-hmm. and they are so goofy. It is so fucking cute. Like I be living for their little moments off to the side. <laughs> and you can tell like, you can tell North is like trying to like inch his way a little closer. Yeah. Like, he said, can I get some noodles? Mm, Outside of like Jeff and Alan, cause everybody was living for Jeff and Alan. I was too. Yeah. But like North and Sonic, they're like, I feel like. <laughs> In the corner. <laughs> but mine so mm. it's funny because like when I reacted to the trailer I was like yeah. I already know I'm not gonna live for this couple I'm gonna be living for mm. Way and Pete we got none of that Harley and none. I'm a Jeff I don't say Alan Jeff Dan. period yeah. Period. I we stand like, Jeff I just like how like Alan is so like he acts Alan? like he's unseasoned in <laughs> And courting, and I'm like Alan. What are you doing? And also, I always tell Alyssa this, and I always point it out whenever I'm like editing my reaction. I love the way um, Sai stands <laughs> because he stands like a little penguin. Like he looks like a always... chibi. <laughs> he looks like a chibi. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I think I took a picture of it, but I'm gonna insert the picture. But like yeah. he stands, and his feet are always facing straight forward. Like normal people stand, and their feet kind of go out a little bit. He's always like, and so it looks like he's going like this all the time. He's y'all. I'm just, I'm telling y'all. If you ever watch an anime and the characters go chibi form, that's how. He's so cute. He's so cute. I'm like, oh, he's adorable. I'm like, but oh. I just love how like happy he was. Yeah. Especially the face he made when he was about to give Jeff the um necklace, but Jeff didn't see it yet, and he was just like, no, that whole. <laughs> That whole transaction at the skating rink, I said, baby, don't let North or Sonic tell you old ever again, because that was smooth as fuck. Yes, he did <laughs> that, that was smooth as fuck. He said, I want somebody stubborn. I was, so I said, you better. He said, da 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 No, he said, talk to me again. He said, who you want me? You want me? I got that. Nervous, I said, make you feel nervous. I got that. And he said, what? He was all up in that ear. Alan was all up in that ear. He was like, hey, little mama, how you doing? Ew. No, you ain't sweet. He said, <laughs> sweet nothings. Child, and then bust it down. That nice is third. <laughs> no, when... <laughs> Wasted no time. He was like, when when, uh, Jeff was like, aren't you supposed to get to know the person first? And he was like, oh, getting to know you. I was like, he said, I want to get to know you inside, then out. Inside and out. Then out. He said, I want to know all of you. All of it. He said, guts first, (laughs) personality next. That's nasty. (laughs) That's nasty. (laughs) Oh. Take it back. I rebuked that. <laughs> that's funny. No, yeah. But yeah, that's funny. I wonder if y'all could have guessed that my favorite couple is going to be North and Sonic. <laughs> I, 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 I knew was. that from like, I don't even know. Because I, I think you said something a while back. And it was just like, I love North and Sonic's goofy asses. And I was like, they're so this. cute. I was like, watch them put them together and watch she go have side for them. I was like, I do. Every I time know. they come up, I'm like, here they go. She's like, here they go. Here they go. No, y'all, y'all need to go ahead and make them a couple. Thank what? you. Like, hey, yeah. Can. Yes. Oh my God. But, <laughs> but yeah. Let us know how you feel about Pit Babe so far. What do you expect mm-hmm. from For the, finale. the finale? Like, how do you think it's going to end? Yeah. This it's Friday. It's Friday. I feel like they low key showed us how the previews are real telling because I don't know what mm-hmm. order y'all could really switch that out of. Cause <laughs> I don't really remember feel- the previews. Child, that's crazy. Yeah. But y'all let us know. 
what you think, how you feel, this is about to go, what's about to happen. Make sure you join the next episode. Honestly, just join the, the chat in general. Join the channel in general. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. Subscribe. Damn it. <laughs> Not aggressive. Not aggressive. Love you. <laughs> you know, have you seen that um <laughs> what? have you seen that tiktok of this girl saying it's real weird when y'all make hearts like this or like what was it like yeah like that she was like it's weird when y'all make she was like because like cute she was like this and she was like but take your fingers cute. away what you look like <laughs> <laughs> look looking like spacey and monster when they were like this, y'all remember that? They thought they ate that. You can't see, you can't see my hair. But they shit was like. <laughs> Wait. It's I think that me. girl is just that girl is just mad that she can't do the heart like this. That's no, she could do it. She was like, eh, eh, eh. but then she was like, but if you take your hands apart, like you look like you're throwing up gang signs. Yes, and no, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, yeah. that's the end of this episode. That's Thank you guys for this. joining the <laughs> premiere. If you are here, Bars. yes. Oh my God. Mm, poets. We love you, but yeah, make sure you subscribe. Follow us all of the socials. Mm -hmm. Make sure you share this video. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back with the team next week. Yeah, so the hot corn. Group chat out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>